Hi, let's learn how to use the apply function from the pandas library. Here I've already imported pandas and also numpy because I'm going to use it to show you some things. And I've already imported a uh, data frame that I found from New York City Open Data. I will leave the link in the description so you can go and download the data yourself too. Uh, in this data, I am only getting a part of the columns because it's a really big data set, but I only need a bunch of them to show you how to use the apply function. So the first thing that you need to know about the apply function is you can either apply it to a data frame or a series object. Uh, you might not have heard of this before. A series object is basically one column of a pandas data frame and a bunch of series together make up a data frame. So basically you can either apply it to a column or you can apply it to a whole data frame. And before we get started, don't forget that you can always go check out the documentation from Pandas. They have really good documentation, really comprehensive, telling you what each of the uh, arguments of the apply function does and also how you can use it, uh, some uh, summaries here. But let's go over it uh, in, a more, in a more detailed way here in this video. So the first way you can use apply function is basically use a built-in function from any library or even Python, for example. We can use the a numpy square root function. So for that, let's say from the data, I'm going to get the salary range from uh, the column and I want to apply to it the square root function from numpy. So if I do that, we will get the square root of all the values from salary range from. So as I said, you can apply it to series or uh, the whole data frame, but we cannot apply the numpy square root function to whole data frame because there are some of the columns that are strings. So you cannot really apply it to that. So if you try to do that, then you will get an attribution error. How else I can show you though, however, is you might have, you might know this, you might not know this. If you use two brackets, then instead of a series object, uh, pandas will return to you a data frame object. So I can also already show you that without this. So I will get the salary range from and salary range to, right? And then result is a data frame object. We can even see the type of it. So you can see it's a data frame object. Um, and if I apply a function to this, we will also get the results in a data frame object because as you can see, we are applying the square root function both to salary range from column and the salary range to column. So that's the difference between applying uh, any function using the apply functionality of pandas to either a series object or a data frame object. One other thing you can do, let's say, you know, you want to get the average of these values. So let's say you want to know for each job, uh, what is the average value, so we, we average salary, so we know what the salary range starts from, we know what the salary range uh, builds up to, but what is their mean? So for that we can use numpy mean. Uh, if we calculate that, we get it, get two numbers only. So why is that? So basically, there are ways of applying the function. So you can either apply it to each row or you can apply it to each column. And by default, uh, when you don't specify anything, pandas apply function applies the function that you're trying to apply the data frame to, uh, to the whole column. So here it applies the numpy mean to the whole column of the salary range from and salary range to. And that is basically the access argument of the apply function. So basically this is a default value. Even if you don't set anything, access is set to zero and that means apply this function to columns. But you can change it to one and this time what it's going to do is apply this function to all the rows. And here then we get the mean salary for or average salary for each position that is open in this data frame. The next thing that I want to get your attention to is, as you can see, when we do this, so we say take these two columns and apply numpy mean function to them uh, on each of their rows, we get a series object like this, right? We can also see what this object is by using type. And yeah, it is a pandas series. So this does not do any changes or additions to the original data frame because by default, apply function from pandas only returns either a data frame, a list, or a series object as a result. Um, but you might want to have this information on your data set already. So for that, what you need to do is to assign it to something in your data set. So I can say 
salary average, for example. And then I would have to assign whatever I've calculated already to that. And then if I look at the data frame again, so we see we have the salary range from, salary range to, and also salary average added here. So if you don't assign your results to anything, you will just see them like this here, but they will not live in any specific place. It will just be visualization. Another thing you can do with the apply function is to create your own function and then apply it to anything in the data frame. So for example, let's say I want to get the civil service title column. And I do not want it to be completely capitalized. I only want the first letter to be capitalized and everything else to be lowercase. So for that, I will just create my own function, uh, capitalize uh, position, for example. And then, of course, I would need to define this function. So I already have it lit written here. Here, what we say is in this function, get a title and then make this title completely lowercase and then only capitalize the first letter. Of course, you can do it a little bit easier, but just kind of wanted to show you that it does not have to be a very simple function. You can make really uh, elaborate calculations in there, or very, in there or very elaborate changes. All you need to make sure is that your input and your output are the correct uh, format, basically. Uh, here, that's what I do, capitalize position. And if I do that, again, I get something in return, right? I would have to, uh, assign it back to the civil service title column for there to be any changes. So if I look at the data set again, nothing has changed. Uh, but maybe what I can do here is to say the civil service title equals to the changes that I've just made. And now the original data itself is also updated. The civil service title column, uh, and the, the information in the civil service title column has capitalized uh, names or capitalized information, but only the, or the first letter is capitalized and the rest is lowercase, basically. So that's one other way of doing it. And there is one last way of doing it, and that is to use lambda functions in Python. For that, again, you need to either uh, pass the data frame or the series object to uh, the apply function. And in this function, how you write la lambda functions is you say lambda x so that is whatever is being passed. So this X is basically the same as what I write here, the title, because in this capitalized position, every time we are passing one information to the function. And here, X is that information. So instead of writing a whole function separately, you if you're going to do something very simple, you can just do it here using X. So then, um, you know, if I was going to do it on the civil service title again, So every time, oops, every time uh, in this X, this X is going to be equal to one entry from this column. So then, or maybe let's do it with the other one. Let's do it with agency so that we can see the changes easier. Uh, so now every time I get one information from the agency column, right? So I can also say agency lower. So every time, instead of writing this whole function here, uh, I just do the same thing here. I can say lower, and then what was it? Capitalize. And that's it. And now I have the information that is here, completely lowered, where only the first word, uh, only the first letter is capitalized. So instead of writing this whole function here, if you're going to do something very simple, you can do it with um, the lambda functions inside Python. Um, but let's say we do this to the whole data set. And what I'm going to do is lambda x. Uh, so this means we are getting uh, axis as zero, right? So that means that we are getting the columns in this data set. Let's say instead I want to get axis one, because what I want to do is to uh, make a list out of every row that we have. So instead of having them all in different columns, I want to combine them into one list. This is just to show you an example. It's not really something anyone would want to do in real life. Um, but then I would say X to list. And then it will return to me a list for each row that we have. Even though this is not something that you would want to do maybe, uh, generally you might sometimes end up with lists when you do something with a lambda function. Maybe you have a function that calculates something, combines some of the information and returns a list. So basically, 
information that it has more than one uh, component to it. Um, there is a way to deal with this because right now it's kind of hard to deal with it, right? You have a list with a lot of entries in there. You might want to separate them into different columns and you might want to because uh, if we see it right now, this is a series object and if we can get the first one, that is basically a list. So it is a series object that is full of lists. So it's not really easy to uh, show in a way. If I try to make this into a data frame, it's not going to be very easy to read or easy to understand. Instead, you might want to, after you get the list, you might want to separate it into a proper uh, data set again. And there is a way to deal with that in the apply function and that is called result type. So if you use result type expand, it is going to explode this list for you and put every single information, every single component of the list in a different column. And that's how you can have a whole data set. Um, if you still want to keep the column names also, there is also a way to do that and that is called broadcasting. And then you, again, put all the information in the list in different columns, but you also still keep the uh, names of the columns. So that is one way to deal with that if you ever end up uh, with a list as a result of the function that you're applying to your data frame. And that said, that's all you need to know about how to use apply functions on a pandas data frame or a series. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below this video and let me know. And if you want to learn more about pandas and more about the pandas functionalities, functions, and different ways of you could use it, don't forget to go get my pandas cheat sheet. I will leave a link for you in the description below. But for now, thanks for watching this video and have a great day.